how are we doing today? Today we are going to take a look at the Azo Portrait Wi-Fi Digital Photo Frame. This is a nine inch diagonal photo frame. And let me show you a little bit of the specs on it. So it is a nine inch high definition, 1280 by 800 is an IPS display. It has 16 gigabytes of memory already built on it, which could do up to 40,000 pictures based off the quality of your picture, of course. It does have a touch screen display, which is always something you want with some kind of product like this. It has fast photo video transfer, and there is an app on this as well, that way you can send your photos straight to this from your iPhone or iPad or whatever you have your photos from. So this will just be a quick unboxing. I'll show you what you get in the box, and then I'll plug it in, show you the quality of it, and I'll give you my overall honest opinion on if I recommend this or not. This is $109 as of right now on Amazon. If you're interested after this video, I'll put a link down in the description. If you wouldn't mind using that link, I'd really appreciate it. I do get a very small commission if you use my link. All right, let's take a look at what you get. little bit of protection. Here is the power plug. And then here's the nine inch screen. So there is a SD slot as well as a USB, a micro USB, and then of course the spot where you're gonna plug it in to charge right there. Wi-Fi photo frame, the model is Portrait 01. Let's come with a nice manual. The app you need to download is called Frameo, F-R-A-M-E-O. It's on uh, iPhone and Android. And this here is just simply a stand. Screw it in the back here. And that will allow it to stand up either way, portrait or landscape. I'm gonna get this the boot up of it, and then I will show you to transfer photos from my phone to this guy. All right, let's plug her in. So as you can see in what I told you earlier, this can't play videos. And that was actually pretty decent sound quality from what I just heard. All right, now I gotta connect to my Wi-Fi and tell it where it is and all that. So this is the language, we're gonna do English. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to my Wi-Fi real quick. All right, then we gotta change the time zone. All right, I got everything updated and I am going to add a few photos and I'll show you the quality and give you my overall honest opinion. All right, so I'm trying to add the photos. And at first you have to click add friend here, which I guess I need to redo. So you add friend and then it gives you this code. And then on here, this is the Framio app. You click this, which is add friend, and then it connects to this when you type in this code. And I'm just using some random pictures I have, of course. Um, on my phone just to show you the quality and everything. So now we should be connected. So I'm gonna hit next. And this is Adam, that's the name of the frame and it's kitchen what I put. So we're gonna hit that, hit next again. And then add all these pictures. Send photos. There we go. That was pretty quick and super quick. That was pretty much as fast as like the uh, airdrop on your phones. So there's just a picture of my son's broken iPad, unfortunately. And I believe you can, yeah, and then you can just scroll through the pictures. Which is pretty cool. And I'm sure you could set this to auto scroll. 
Yeah, there we go. And you can even react to photos. So if someone goes by here and looks at your photos, they can add a reaction like so. So what a funny picture that is. You can even hide specific photos. So yeah, I'd say overall the quality is pretty decent. It's, uh, like I said, 1280, I believe, by 800. So it's not quite full HD, but I think overall that's a pretty good photo. I don't know how well it's coming through on video, especially after, especially after everything gets compressed. But uh, let me set this up with the stand, and I'll take the phone off this mount and show you how it looks sitting on kind of like a desk. All right, there we go, sitting on a desk. Like I said, I like the white frame. It's just a plastic. And you can scroll through the photos and see the little reaction that somebody put. It says the date. And then you can go into settings. I'm, I would bet money you can, yeah, slideshow, of course. It'd be useless if it wouldn't automatically go through. Let's see. I don't have any videos on there as of now. Okay, so right now it's at every 30 seconds, which to me is a little bit long. Let's put it down to like five seconds. That way we can see it on video quicker. So there we have it. I mean, the picture frames like this have been out for a while, but this seems like a pretty good quality. So if you're in the market for a photo frame, once again, this is nine inches. Uh, not too bad of a price. I will let you know down in the comments if they offer me a discount code for you guys. And I'll put the link down there as well if you're interested. I'd say overall it's a good quality. Uh, 9 inch is a pretty good size. I know they just came out with a 15 inch. And that one I believe is 4K. So if you guys like this video, I'm going to try to get them to send me the 15 inch 4K. And we'll see the difference. And 15 inches of course is going to be much nicer than the 9 inch. But uh, either way, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button for me. What that does is helps move this video up on the list when people search for photo frames. And it really, really does help on my channel. And if, we, if you enjoyed this one, please subscribe too. I'm going to start doing a lot of different tech type videos. And if you're on this channel for my robot vacuums like this, don't worry guys. I will be pumping out a lot more videos very soon. I've just been incredibly busy. So thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and I will see you guys very soon.